All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Hey guys, um, this video is actually going to be focused on these uh, guys right here, this panel right here. The guy right there with the uh, beige sweater on, uh, the second guy. Um, he actually went viral for some of his comments that he made uh, to this woman here that's going to come out in a second. And I want you guys to pay attention to all the responses and definitely pay attention to um, just her attitude and her response to the responses. And uh, I think it will shed light a little bit on, you know, just the attitudes of uh, a lot of women, and in this case, a black woman. Hey, hey welcome in. Hello. If we can have your name. Hello, my name is Calda. Calda, how old are you? I'm 31 years old. 31, okay, and what do you do? I'm a model. All right, yes. nice, nice. Yes. And what do you look for in a guy? Um, tall, and doesn't matter, dark, white, black. Okay. I like all types of guys. Nice, okay, yeah. so you like to experiment. Yes. Okay, <laughs> all right, we like yes. that. All right, so we do see a couple balloons did get popped, so okay. let's go over to some of those guys and get a little more info. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's start. Right on over here. Okay. <laughs> and I'll have you just stand right okay. next to me for this camera. Okay, okay sir, um, if we can have, just let her know your name, how old you are, and why you popped your balloon. My name is David, I'm 30 years old. And the reason I popped the balloon, uh, she's just not my type. And what makes her not your type? Um, I'll Go ahead and say it, bro. <laughs> I'll say a body shape. I just prefer a little bit of a thicker. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and now is David somebody that you would approach? Is he your type? Um, no. In what he's way? Not. Um, I, he's intimidating kind of looking, so I wouldn't walk up to him. Oh. Yeah. It's called uh, male energy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just that, just yeah. the energy that he's giving off. What about yeah. as far as like looks go? I mean, he's handsome. He's not bad looking. Thank you. You're beautiful too. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. Let's just go ahead and ask our guy okay. here. Why did you end up popping your balloon and what's your name and how old are you? My name's Adam. I'm 31. And like him, just a little too skinny for me. Okay, yeah. that's um, fine. But that's it. Other than that, you're beautiful. Thank you. I, I mean, she is a model, you yeah, know? I mean, this, this. Yes, <laughs> for sure. I get it. And I've dated some models and I've retired from doing that. <laughs> I'm sorry you left a bad taste in your mouth. Yes, like. yes, yes. <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah. Okay. And is he your type? Not really. I don't really like dreadheads. Like for personal reasons, but I mean, you're not bad looking either. You're handsome too, so. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right, thank you. And then let's go right on over here. Sir, if we can have your name, how old you are, and why you popped your balloon. My name is Terrence, I'm 34, and I'm looking for a bigger, I want bigger too. Okay. <laughs> I want, I want to be like I'm working out a little so bit this sometimes. Is for the, yes. These three right here, it's okay. I've been and lost you over the couch. I've been you over the couch. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, it's okay. Yeah. But you're beautiful, though. Yes, you like a. Uh, uh, I appreciate it. A black queen. I am beautiful a black, black queen. queen. Yes. Yes. Period. Yes. yes. <laughs> and now, is Terrence your type? Is he someone that you would approach? <clears throat> Um, no, he's a little too short for me. I like taller men because okay. I'm tall, so, right. yeah. And you said taller, about, like, how much, how tall? Like, when I put on heels, I'm, like, 5'9", almost 5'8", okay. so, like, 6 foot or mm. taller. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay, sir, <Hey. laughs> your name, how old you are, and why you popped your balloon? Bo, I'm 30. Uh, I, I've been knowing him since, like, high school and doing all that stuff. Okay. I know her family, so we close enough, so. That's why. Yeah. So we ain't crossing uh, those paths. We not. But he's cool. He's a handsome dude. He's cool. Yeah. Yes. That's that's the only reason. She's okay. dope. She's cool people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just because you just because you guys know each other, yeah. that's the only. Yeah. Reason. That's the only reason. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. Fair enough. <laughs> okay, sir. Your name? How old you are? Why did you pop your balloon? Jivens. I'm 24 years old, and I don't like your nails. They're too long. Okay. Sorry. And then um, just a little too old for me. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. 
And just the nails, that's the only thing. The nails. Um, I'm a fitness trainer, so I could build that ass up, you know. Ooh, okay. Sorry, am I supposed to say no, that? No, you're, the ass is fine. <laughs> it doesn't need no more building, but thank you. Oh. You said she don't need no building. Oh, okay. I'm fine, but I appreciate it. Sorry. Okay, all right. And now, is he someone that you would approach? How are you feeling him? Um, He's fine. I just don't like the open shirt with the hair and the necklaces, but he's fine. He's okay. handsome, too. Mm. Mm-hmm. All right, okay. And now, you know, nails, that's something that could be changed if that's the only thing. <laughs> well, it, just, it just represents. What else? Like, what else? <laughs> it kind of represents high maintenance. I think he's trying to be nice and all of that, but it kind of represents high maintenance. And you notice that when he mentioned about all, you know, the other guy mentions, I'm a, well, he did. I'm a fitness trainer. I could build this up and build this up. Oh, no, I'm fine the way I am. That kind of makes men think that well, you're not willing to bend at all. You're not willing to change anything. You're not willing to do anything that's going to make me happier or make you, you know what I mean? So that's, that's kind of like a, a thing. It's probably why the guy next to him popped his balloon because she said that, but let's see. You guys say it. Just speak your mind. <laughs> like, I need, to, I need you to be able to be my wife. You know, okay. and you can't really do that with long nails like that. They're going to be breaking every like two seconds. Oh, oh wow. sure. OK. So. so do you always wear long nails? Do you have um, a short not always up? this length, but, you know, I, it just depends on my mood, mm-hmm. what I feel like doing. OK. Mm-hmm. Like you said. I think that's kind of petty, though. I mean, you can change nails. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's something that you can you can definitely change. Unlike how you look, you know what I'm saying? The nails can be gone. And I I doubt that if she's trying to take care of a baby or something like that, she got those nails on, especially when the baby has booties on so they don't scratch themselves. I doubt that she would be wearing uh, those long nails and take a chance to scratch a baby, but that's me. I think that's a little bit part of him being young, kind of being a little immature and uh, kind of petty. She changes it up. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) All right, all right. (laughs) <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and ask our next guy here. Your name, how old are you, why did you pop your balloon? Hello, I'm Renard. I am 27, and I popped my balloon. One, I was going to pop it early because I saw the nails, too, but I said I thought the same thing, like, okay, this, this can change. Right. But then when he said, you know, you could work on the, the booty a little <laughs> bit, I was, and then you were like, no, I'm good, just right like that. I was like, oh, maybe a little stubbornness too, and I don't know. Like, I'm we gotta be open minded. Yeah, you see, I, I, I like. I mean, look, no, open mindedness. Like, okay. Well, you're know. telling me that you want to change me, and I'm telling you I'm fine. So that's the problem for you. No, but I, it was more just oh, like Lord. maybe in the. I actually, and if you think you look good, and you like, you actually do look good, but Thank that's you. fine. But it's more like other conversations or other things possibly oh maybe i think you should grow in this area maybe you might be a little bit stubborn that's what i just got oh, off of initial just Didn't so and then that's you okay. kind of said a little hard-headed so uh, okay that's you okay are, you are gorgeous thank you i appreciate <laughs> it okay and wouldn't it be the same if um women preferred men to have some nice muscles six pack be a certain height it's all about the preferences right so why does he get an attitude because he's saying my preference is that? It has to go both ways, ladies. Is he your type in any way? I mean, yeah, he's very handsome. I probably would talk to him if he came up to me at a party or somewhere. Yeah, probably. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. All right. Nice. Okay. <laughs> so we'll come back to him because he had right. You you off. had it. And the it last was. minute pop. So <laughs> let, let's go over here and then okay. we'll get back to you. Okay. So if we can have your name, how old you are, and why you popped your balloon. Oh yeah, my name is Anthony, and I'm 28. Uh, probably because uh, a little bit of conversation about the, the booty meat. I'm from the south, so. You know, traditionally, how I get down. But, uh, <laughs> you know, if well, she was willing to. Maybe some cornbread. Maybe it'll get bigger. Well, but she said you, you said you was fine. Like, you didn't want to change it. So I, I am like, fine. Well, I mean, you are fine. I'm not okay. disagreeing with you there. But okay. I was like, you know, if you wanted to put it on, I would have been encouraging that. But you didn't seem <laughs> open-minded to that path in your life. And that's why I had to make my decision. Okay, that's fine. But, um, mm-hmm. yeah, she's definitely gorgeous. And she seemed a little high-maintenance, too. Oh, so that's I, facts. I, uh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she, uh, so you can't keep up with her, is what you're saying? You no. can't afford me, is that Uh-oh. what you're saying? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, wow, so high-maintenance equals afford me. Men don't see high-maintenance like that. It might be a component of 
their definition of high maintenance, but it means like taking 10 hours in the bathroom, uh, taking 10 hours to do your nails, taking 10 hours to do your hair, taking 10 hours to go shopping, 10 hours to pick out an outfit, high maintenance, 10 hours to pick what you want to eat, all those type of things. But women always want to kind of tie it into the money, afford you. You're a model. You should be making your own money. Why are you worrying about what the money the man is, what money the man is going to spend on you? This is what you call a silent sneak diss. Because you said that about me, I'm going to now call you broke. I'm going to shame you. Pay attention to the tactics. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, nah, it's it, it's more like a it's a down to earth vibe. Like how are we gonna chill and stuff when you always worried about the Kardashians and all that other stuff. Um, really trust matter. me, I'm very down to earth. I'm not worried about them at all. Mm -hmm. Like I'm very chill. Actually, my personality is very chill. But I just this is just you know what I want. You know how I make myself look good, but that's not my personality all the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. I'm very chill, but it's okay. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And is he your type in any way? Not really, but, you know, he's a handsome dude, too. Okay. You know, but he's and not really. What makes him not your type? A little too short for me, and, um, I mean, you're okay. Your style's a little different, but it's cool. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's head on over here. If we can have your name, how old you are, and why you popped your balloon. My name is Dr. Elam. I'm 38 years old, and I popped my balloon after listening to you okay damn okay i think humility and integrity is something that takes a lot of work to acquire mm -hmm. and it doesn't seem like you've done that work yet no okay <laughs> have you had therapy before no you want to be my therapist if you need one i do okay okay i charge by the hour sure <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, it's, you know, it's funny, but it's not a joke. <laughs> Real talk. Okay, sure. So you think I need therapy? I know you need therapy. Okay. I think we all need therapy, Shit. but it takes okay. a certain level of humility to admit it. And if you can't admit it, then, well, you definitely need therapy. Okay. Okay, sure. And, and why do you think she needs I know you said everyone needs it, sure. but why are you telling her specifically that you think she needs it? Well, I think we're all giving a bit of constructive criticism, and it seems like you're taking it harshly, which means you have a level of insecurity that okay. needs to be talked with a third party. Okay. I think you're too into that because I don't need therapy. I'm fine. I'm Ooh, she got an attitude. I don't need therapy. I'm fine. The attitude, the claws is coming out, coming out strong. Here we go. Not insecure. I'm very secure with myself, but that's your opinion, and it's okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for proving my point. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like sometimes men, like when you're too confident, they think like it's a problem for mm -hmm. them. And it's, it's fine. okay to be insecure. But I'm it's not. Okay. So you don't know me. You just see me two seconds Look, ago. Insecurity is something we all struggle with. Okay. And the fact that you can't admit that okay. means that you haven't been able to work past it okay and you're already proving to me that it's going to take work to communicate with you because you're not listening to me okay doctor you got a card i'll call you after the show and you can give me a session you can take my instagram sure and i did i mention i was a doctor or you just called I, me that you said, i feel like oh, okay, you said okay. doctor yeah, 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 but okay yeah. <laughs> so this is a great opportunity for you to learn sure. that communication can be had without getting defensive and we can talk to each other like adults and work through our troubles in the same way I have and in the same way you need to. Okay. So we can definitely talk after the show. Okay, sure. Okay. And now, as far as doctor here, yeah. <laughs> is he someone that you would approach? Is he your type in any way? I mean, yeah, he's good looking too. He's tall, I like that, dark skin, sure. And Everything I can definitely good. afford you financially, but maybe not emotionally. <laughs> gold standard gold standard for real okay <laughs> so you you can't handle me is what you're saying but it's okay that's fine i can handle I can. you i just have to make the decision if it's worth my time to do that okay that's fine <laughs> yeah well that's fine it is what it is I mean, open arms, like seriously, no shit. Okay. All right. Like it's all love, <laughs> just being honest with what I've been through and what it seems like you need to experience as well. Okay. All right. Sure. 
Okay. Okay. Well, as we see here, (laughs) all the balloons, unfortunately, did get popped. Yes, they did. So we couldn't find you love today, but you know what? Maybe next time. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. (laughs) Bye, guys. Okay, let's go ahead and... A lot of times, and I think this applies to everyone, but definitely women, they need to open up that can of humility. They need to step off that pedestal. They need to stop thinking that they're so much better than what they actually are. And they need to be receptive to criticism. Just like he said, everybody has insecurities. You know, I'm in my 50s and I have insecurities still myself. It's a part of who we are. But when you walk around and portray yourself as being perfect, you don't need any work. You don't have to listen. People should just handle you. You're going to have a problem because a lot of people don't want to just handle you. A lot of people don't want to jump through all these hoops and and spend all this time trying to handle you when they can go out there and find someone that they don't have to handle. You see what I'm saying? It's okay. Accept that criticism and say, okay, well, maybe this is something I can work on. Maybe this doesn't apply to me. But to sit there and act like there's nothing wrong with you And that people should just handle you the way you are. That's why a lot of women are losing. Because they're not willing to give an inch. They're not willing to give anything to a man. They're just defensive. She thinks, because she's a model, that that's just something men are just going to accept off the top. Because she's a model. A lot of men don't like her body type. A lot of men are attracted to a certain aesthetic. You know, that hourglass, the long hair, but the natural hair, the humility, the grace, the softness, those are the things that men are attracted to. Men are not attracted to women that just sit there with their elbows on and they gyrations and they doing their hands and acting all masculine. That turns men off. And that's what happened with this guy. Now, this guy is like the perfect candidate for the type of man that she wants he held his balloon for a long time so obviously it wasn't her body type that he had an issue with i think he was sitting there waiting to see just what she had to say um for him to determine if he was going to be interested in her so what really counseled her out was her mouth this is what counsels a lot of women out is their mouth and their attitude anyway i'm not going to play the rest this is a whole um whole podcast and it's a couple hours long but i just wanted you guys to um check this portion out let me know what you think in the comments and what your thoughts are you have the power to achieve anything you want don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals and remember stay focused stay strong and stay positive make sure to like subscribe and share this video with those in need